and welcome back to Ark. Where today we're just having a little bit of an update episode, or not episode, update video. Um, we hit a thousand subscribers. Finally, we hit our goal. I have not been bringing it up here recently because I've been just putting it back. Um, but because of that, I think we should set another goal. And as of now, I'm not shooting too high. I'm thinking we should shoot for 5,000 subscribers. That is my next goal. I want to hit 5,000 subscribers. All right. Now, um, because we hit 1,000 subscribers, I did say we might do a server. Um, in terms of that, I am thinking about it heavily still. Uh, because I don't know if I can afford one is the problem. And I'm not really sure... If I know how to set one up properly for you guys. Um, I might just go the Nitrato route. And have it hosted through Nitrato. Uh, I think that that is probably the best option. In terms of a server. So yeah. Um, also there are a lot more changes in Arc. There are so many. So it's. Like I was thinking that we would have just like a run here. Where we wait for all the mods. That we previously had to come out. But a lot of those are integrated, so I might just, I might just add creature mods. That is it, just creature mods alone, um, and the one stack mod. That's probably about it. Um, when cryopods come out, we're gonna wait for cryopods to come out, mind you. Um, that is when we will start the genetic library, and we will go back to previous maps. We'll do a whole bunch of taming videos and all that about the taming them um but as of now i think i'm going to focus the series in terms of uh completing the map like i want to uh, get this done um and then hopefully we'll just continue on to scorched earth i i don't know when that's gonna be out um but in terms of uh how the performance is doing of the thing I say it's pretty good as of now, um, but I am going to be getting a new computer. That is why I'm also still thinking about the server because I am absolutely be going to be getting a new computer. I'm going to probably convert this one into just a full-on editing computer. Um, yeah, because it's not handling Ark Survival Ascended well. Um, it's doing well, but a lot of the settings are close to low, uh, or at medium. I, I am pushing it there, and, uh, I'm sorry about that, but it's all I can do. Um, when I, when it said the, like, my, all my stuff was cl I, legit at the maximum requirements. And it's, like, what Steam told me, it, it, it just can't do it. Um, I'm thinking it's because I got a pre-built, and uh, I have learned since then that sometimes companies that will give out pre-builts, especially if they're, like, uh, say if you get one off of Amazon and it's just a third-party company, um, they can get parts on the cheap because they have certain resources taken out, say, like, memory in the graphics card or... Uh, the, was it the CPU isn't exactly that because I think yeah because at the end mine is like a 30 a, like was it 3600 and then I, I'm just like going off of here trying to remember it I don't know what this stuff is called this is why we're gonna have to learn it when we go and start building our own because that is what I'm planning on doing is building my own or I might just go for a pre-built I, I don't know um, but like with my experience with pre-builds, it, it's been bad. So if we do, uh, get, m I guess, I don't know. If we do get around to doing that and getting that knowledge. I guess we'll do a video on it. Um, but yeah, as well. Um, if we do do a server, as of right now, the only way I could imagine doing it is if we can get some memberships going. And I would also have to lock it behind the memberships. 
So uh, I'd say I'd have to get at least 20 members before I could open a server. Um, and at that, it's probably going to be uh, a limited to only about that those 20 people. I haven't even looked at Nitrado to see how much a server would be. Yeah, here are basically their run times. And the lowest that they are... Uh, I, maybe this is wrong. I might be looking at the wrong one here. Yeah, so the lowest slots that they're offering is 20. So before I get... Like, the only way I would open up a server in the any time in the future before I get my new computer is if we can get more members. Because the entire thing from the membership would be dedicated into this. All right, the 20... 2029 or you know what i might just go for it and we go how much is that i could just go out all out buy it for the year because it is giving me a 20 percent discount but i don't know if i could afford that at the moment i all right i'm on a budget all right i gotta i gotta afford food guys could go for 90 days that's three months but how much is that that's 52 dollars we could just go for that. We could. But this is... A, this is... I don't know. We'll have to look into this more. But we, we have to hit a goal. Alright, if you guys want me to open up a server... Anytime soon... Um... We will... We have to hit the 20... 20 sub slot. Now, of course, if we get more people, say, like, again, like, we get, oh, shh, like, I don't know if we'll get 20, 200 members, right? I highly doubt I'll get 200 members out of you guys. Um, But, yeah, like, say we get more. I'll, I'll bump it up as we get more slots. So, I'll try and match the slots to the amount of people that we have. Um, But, yeah, so, depending on if you guys want to do this or not. It's up to you guys if you want to join as members. Um, I will go through and definitely try and figure this out more on how to do this properly to get like so that way you guys can come in and do that. But yeah, this was just kind of a update video. I was messing around here. I wanted to get that out, get out. But look at this. So Super Spyglass is basically built in now. But it's now incorporated into the tech binoculars. I learned this from a Syntac video. So, yeah. But now with your tech binoculars, if you use them compared to Park Survival Evolved, uh, which I think you could just zoom in and you might be able to mark creatures. Now with this, when you look at them, you don't even have to zoom in. When you look at them, it will bring up all their stats you can see all the points that they have like into oh man you can really see all their points all their points into uh melee all their points into uh, my throat is like drying and again if you hit like left click on them it locks that in and now that guy is tracked and it will not disappear if you hit right click as well you'll equip them and of course you can zoom and again left click it on it again it goes away but left click you can lock it in now I don't know if you can do this with multiple creatures or not. We could actually probably we could probably actually quickly test that out if I remember to hit the right buttons. I've learned here. Let's test it here on the Serato. Okay, now can I track you? No. One at a time, one at a time. Okay. Now I've also learned this today, and luckily it has been reported, but Serato saddles are broken. It's just a slight bug right now. Uh, hopefully here on Monday, as soon as Garuga is back, uh, all these guys will get updated and the bugs that we have found will get patched. So, but yeah. Anyways, this was just a quick update video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I am going to probably go to bed here. So, anyways, see you guys later. <laughs>